What's up guys, Hello the Gamer here and welcome back to another Fortnite Creative Device Tutorial. So in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the timed objective device in Fortnite Creative. As you can see the device is here. This device can be used for every type of game mode and every type of uh, mechanic that you want inside your game. It's a really 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 useful device and it can be used for, for many many different things and it's a really really cool device to get to learn and use throughout your maps. So I'm going to be showing you guys six, uh, five, I don't even know how many I've got here, but different uh, ways you can use this device in creative and uh, unique and cool um, settings that this device has that you guys may not know about. So what we'll do is just like before uh, I'll go through the device first, through all the settings, and teach you guys how to use the device, and then I'll teach you how to connect it to other devices to allow you to uh, put it into your games. So yeah, you want to go up to the timed object uh, objective, and then you're going to see all your settings here. Uh, start when round starts, that means as soon as you start the game, the device is going to start counting down, and then once it's finished counting down, it's going to activate something, that's completely up to you what it activates. So I currently have it on 10 seconds, but you can have it on as long as you want. Uh, timer label text, that is the text that comes up on the screen when the timer is counting down. So I have activating devices in, or you could have door opening in, and so on. Uh, timer label text, that is completely up to you. You can have it different colors, or you can have it as large on the screen, or whatever. Hologram until activated, that means the device is going to um, light up. And then once it's activated, it'll like you'll see the actual device. Um, visible during games, that's obvious. Countdown visible on games, that means on the hood, that means you're gonna see the countdown on your screen. Completion behavior, you can you can have it restart, so then it reactivates different devices every time, or you can have it restart, or you can have it just disable and activate everything once. Uh, urgency mode, that means it's going to be like an urgent warning when it gets lower on the timer. Um, start team filter, uh, that means which team can uh, start the, the timer. Uh, start interact te text, that means like uh, you could put arm device or uh, hold to open door or something like that. And you can have that on uh, as long as you want, so as long as you have to hold the button down to activate the device. Start scar, so when you start the device you can get scar from it. Uh, team start filter, uh, stop team filter, that means the only team that can turn the device off. So if you play search and destroy you can have one team that can activate it and you can have the other team that can deactivate it and you don't want the same team to activate it to deactivate it if you get what I mean there. Um, stop interact time, same time as it starts or you can have it slower if you want. Uh, you can have scar on that, restart, all the same kind of things. You guys can go through that to learn it. It's all pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, you can have it show on maps, so you can have it on your main map and the map that you pull up by pressing pause or whatever it is on your device. Mesh op options, that's great for search and destroy. I will show you that in a second. Audio effects, that's all self-explanatory. Deactivation sound. Completion sound, timer sound, and so on. Um, and then you can have all your settings here that you can connect to other devices. So let's show you how I've connected to the other devices. So if you go to the other end here, you can go to other channels. I have it on when completed, transmit on. And then what that does is transmit on all these five devices here. So I have a tracker timed to come on when that finishes. I have this air vent turn on when it's finished i have this giving me guns when it's finished this explodes when it's finished and this one will play a sound when it's finished so let's show you how to connect it real quick uh, basically you just want to go through this device if you really want to and change everything that you want to and then go to activate when receiving you want that on channel one so it's connected to the device same with this one same with this one you want grant item when receiving from channel one then you want this one to enable on channel one and then you also want the tracker to assign when receiving from. Um, 
if you want i will be teaching you guys about these devices in a future video so make sure to stay around for that to teach you what settings to use in these but first of all let's show you how this works in game all right here we are it says activating devices in six seconds you can see a timer on there you can see a timer on your screen but in two seconds you're gonna see those legs blow off or maybe not it didn't work uh but you're gonna see the uh the speaker play sound the explosive device blow up the item granter give me weapons the vent now works and also uh the final device the tracker that didn't work for some reason but i will check that in a second um but yeah the uh those all work the timer ran out that's it they're all activated now you can have it reset uh, if you really want to to reactivate them all uh, so when this resets and counts down again, it'll give you more guns if you really want that. But that's completely up to you guys. Anyway, let's jump into the second version of this. So let's end the game real quick. And I will show you how um, to start a, do a search and destroy kind of map. Or you want to blow a device up. So say you're playing Domination or Search and Destroy or... Uh, something where one team has to blow up a device and the other team have to defend it or something like that. So this is how you do it. You, you'll have your objective device here or a wall or anything you really want that you want the objective device to blow up really. Then all you want to do is go up to it. You want to put your timer on how long you want it. Uh, these are the settings I've actually changed. So your timer label you want it bomb A or bomb B or whatever you want to call the bomb. Uh, you want it on whatever colour you want it. Uh, timer you want it on both maps so all, every person in the game can see it mesh options I have it on explosive attachment that means it's got a, a, like an explosive device underneath it so you got your normal timed objective there it doesn't do anything to the settings it just makes the visual device look a lot better um, and then obviously you, when you complete it you want it to uh, blow up this device so as you can see here I have it on destroy when receiving from channel 2 and this one also on channel 2. So yeah, it's as simple as that to create something as cool as that. Now let's start the game and I'll show you how that works. Uh, just like before, uh, you can have one team activate it and one team deactivate it. But uh, in this instance, I'm going to show you uh, one team deactivate it and the same team activate it. So let's arm the bomb. You can have it take as much time as you want. Mine's on 3 seconds. Bomb A, as you can see on the screen, is now 12 seconds. You can also see it on the map in the top right, say in 7 seconds and so on. You can have your warning and then it's going to explode in 2, 1. And there we go. The objective device blew up. If Depending on your game settings, you could have it give you 1 scar. Or you could have it end the game completely. Uh, but that is completely up to you. And as you've seen a second ago, I could have defused it if I really wanted to. Uh, but yeah, that's as simple as that is. That's the device explained in its entirety. Uh, I hope this video helped you as much as I could. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Click the bell so you get notified when I upload in the future. Uh, but second of all, what I'm going to do is uh, fix this. So I believe a sign when receiving from that should be fine. Tracker sign on game start. Um, okay, that seems to. Uh, oh, there we go. That's the one that I think I believe. A sign when I think I've just broken it. Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, that should uh, that should do it. If not, I will be able to teach you this device in another video anyway. I still have a lot to learn, so uh, hopefully I want to learn as much as you guys do. Obviously, by the way, you can stop this device, and I'll show you that you can stop the other device in a second. So hopefully it should assign the tracker, which it isn't doing, okay. I will teach you th that device in another game, but as you can see, you can activate every device using this device. Uh, luckily, I'm not teaching you that one in this game today. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, how it works. And then let me show you how this one works real quick. So you can arm the bomb, and then obviously you can stop the bomb. And then you can restart it as many times as you want. Uh, so you can restart it now. 
and then you can stop it again and then obviously if it doesn't get stopped it's going to blow up so yeah it's as simple as that i hope this video helped you hit the like button if it did don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you all in the next